In this video, I'm going to talk about a path variable. Okay, so suppose you have a request that comes and the URL looks like this. Cut uh, list product, oh sorry, uh, pro, sorry, like this, uh, category ID, and this is a category ID, and you have a category name, and the, following this slash computer here is your category name. So how can I retrieve the category ID to value and the category name from this URL? To how to retrieve that in Spring MVC, you can using uh, an annotation called a path variable. So I'm going to have another method like a get uh, products, okay? And then I'm going to just return to welcome page, okay? Uh, next one, I'm going to add annotation here uh, called get mapping. And what's the URL gonna be? Oh, sorry, I have to have a product in this case. Okay, I have to have a product here. Product and the category ID and the ID is to name is the computer. So you have to match this pattern. Okay, so product map to here. And uh, this gonna be the URL for accessing this method here. And oh, sorry, you have to add uh, the code. So this is the changeable part, okay? And you can give any name you want, C-A-T-E-I-D. And uh, this is the changeable part, okay? Then you can give another name called the category name, okay? So now, how to retrieve the, this tool and uh, this computer? You have annotation called path variable. The first way is you have a variable parameter name, which is exactly the same as this one. Category ID. Okay, this is the one way. And uh, for the path variable, it's not, it's different from the request from which you required is false. Path variable is always required. And uh, you can have another path variable and uh, suppose now, the, in this case, your parameter name is different from this name in the breadth. What you can do is the same as the request prompt. You can give a name here. Got it? And uh, as usual, I'm not gonna uh, just do something in the page. I just uh, system dot out print line this one, okay? So here I'm gonna give a category ID. And here I'm going to give the name, but I'm going to change this one to be category ID to show you the difference, okay? Category name. So the thing is, make sure this category ID is the same as this one. Uh, obviously, they're different, so I'm going to change this one, okay? Sorry. This one should be exactly as this one. So they match each other, and this name must match to this one if they are different. Category ID. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna start the application and rerun. So I'm gonna edit this one not using var. I'm gonna using artifact using exploded version. And I'm gonna change this one to update classes. So when I change the code here, then it's gonna automatically load. And in this case, you have to run in uh, debug mode. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to the Chrome and to show you I'm gonna make a request to the URL we did okay uh, product category 2 and the category name okay 
So I'm gonna go to the Chrome and uh, make a request to slash product slash category. Let, you, let me using 55. And uh, I'm not uh, using computer. I'm gonna using uh, mm, let's using iPad. Okay. Then hit enter. You will see it goes to our uh, welcome page. And now I'm gonna switch back to our IDE to show you the console. See, in the console, you have the value retrieved 50, which is uh, I made a request, and you have a category name is iPad. So that's it, how you're using path variables. Those are really, really popular uh, away in the REST. When you declare, when you build your REST applications, your URL most likely like this. You're gonna using path variables to retrieve the values included inside the URL instead of using request parameter like this way. REST API is almost like this way. Okay. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy this and see you next time.